Hey there, Kevin Colby here. So I don't know if you've ever had a situation where you needed to send a very large video file to someone. Maybe it's a client, maybe it's a friend, whatever the reason is. Well, a friend of mine asked me the other day about what I use to send large video files. And the great news is there's a lot of great options that are free. So in this video, I wanna share the ways I use to share big files with anybody, whether they're big or small. Now you could share video via Gmail and I've done that before. I found it very clunky. In fact, a lot of times you'll get a warning that the file size is too big. So I don't even try that anymore. So I, just, I know Gmail gets brought up, so I thought I would throw that out there. The first way to send big files is to create a folder in Google Drive. Now you probably know this, but just in case you didn't, when you have a Gmail account, you get a free Google Drive account. I think it's 15 gigs. I actually pay to get a, a terabyte of storage on there. I think it's $9.99 a month because I can store a lot of stuff in there. But it's very simple. All you have to do is create a folder and then you can drop files in there, one file, multiple files. In fact, I, I just did an online course with a friend and I put all the files in there, including the downloadables. Now here's a pro tip and a way to maximize your Google Drive space, especially if you're on the free plan, because you know, 15 gigs sounds like a lot and it is, but if you're using like video files, it'll fill up very quickly. So once you've shared them via your Google Drive, if that's, the, if that's how you're doing it, you're sharing them that way, once the person has downloaded them, delete that folder and those video files, and that way you'll keep your, your storage as maximized as possible. Another option is WeTransfer, and I use this quite a bit. Now there's a free plan and there's a paid plan. I, I use the free plan, so all you need to do is sign up. You can skip the verification part, and then you've got an account. It's really simple. So it, now the free plan is, is limited to two gig video file, but you can send multiple files. So it's not just like a one and, and done, right? All you do is just type in the, the email address of the person you're sending it to. So you will need their email address. And then you literally upload the file. So it's all kind of in the, in the cloud and everything like that. Then you hit send. When it's done, you get an email saying that the file has been sent. And you'll even get an email when the person has downloaded the file. Now, whoever you're sending it to only has a few days to download it. And then at that point, I think it just goes away. I, I haven't had that issue. Everybody I've sent it to has downloaded it. So you could even reach out to them as well. And again, this is all on the free plan of WeTransfer. Another option is use YouTube. So a lot of times when I'm sharing a video with, with a, a client or somebody I'm working with, I have a second channel that I, I put all of my like pro work on, if you will. And what I'll do is I'll upload the video there and then I'll share a link with the client to look at. Now, when I'm using YouTube for this, it's really more for a preview, but it's a great way of sharing a file with somebody. Now, when I do it, I always make it unlisted. And the reason I do that is because maybe they haven't approved it yet, or I want them to see it before the world does it and with an unlisted video so if the link is unlisted only someone with that link can send it here's here's the disclosure too if you're doing that and you make any changes you can't copy over that video but I don't really care because I'm using it more for previews then if they approve it, I set it to public and then I can show it from my YouTube channel. Actually, I wanna mention one more way you can share large files. Now, this one isn't free, but I've used it a lot more for local clients and local people I'm working with. And that's just to buy an external hard drive. Now, I have two external hard drives. One is what I keep all of my media on and one is what I, I edit on. And if you're interested in those, I'll put links to those down in the description. But a lot of times if I'm working with somebody local, like I, I have a friend and a client who's a silversmith and we create a lot of online courses. So she bought an external drive. They're really, really crazy cheap. I think it was like a two terabyte drive for under a hundred bucks. And then what I do is I copy all of the files over to that. Then I can give it to her and she's got a copy, a hard copy on a hard drive, external hard drive for her own. Now, again, there's some cost involved in that. You can mail drives back and forth, but if you want something else other than cloud storage, think about an external hard drive. Now, I know I didn't mention Dropbox and it's because I don't like Dropbox. <laughs> I'll just be straight honest. I'm not a fan of Dropbox. I don't find it easy to use. Most of these options I've mentioned like Google Drive, 
and we transfer they're free YouTube is free the only one that costs you anything is the external drive if you do that so if you like Dropbox good for you I just ain't a drop boxer if that's a thing but if there's another one you use mention it down in the comments below now if you got value out of this video consider giving it a like and maybe subscribing to the channel too and if you want to do more with video check out the videos on the screen I'm Kevin and I'll see you in the next one